Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we uncover the real stories behind the myths. Today we're tackling a big one, a movie monster that has terrified audiences for decades. I'm talking about the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. You know the one, smart, scaly, six feet tall, and can open doors better than my roommate. Well, I've got some news for you that might just change how you see those nightmares. The movie raptors that haunted your childhood? They don't exist, not even close. Let's break down what a real Velociraptor was actually like. Imagine a turkey. No, seriously, a large, aggressive turkey. That's roughly the size we're talking about, maybe two feet tall at the hip and weighing around 30 to 40 pounds. And that scaly, lizard-like skin? Forget about it. Paleontologists have found clear evidence, like quill knobs on their arm bones, that proves velociraptors were covered in feathers. They were fluffy. So picture a very angry, feathered turkey with a sickle-shaped claw. They would have been fast and vicious for sure, but opening door handles? Not happening. They were intelligent for their time, but their brain was about the size of a pigeon's. So while you wouldn't want one loose in your kitchen, it's not the hyper-intelligent pack hunter from the movies. But wait, don't get too comfortable. Just because the movie got the Velociraptor wrong doesn't mean a creature like that didn't exist. It did. It was just called something else. Everyone, meet the real-life movie monster, the Utah Raptor. This is the dinosaur that should be giving you sleepless nights. Discovered in Utah, as the name suggests, this beast was the true apex dromaeosaur. We're talking about an animal that stood six feet tall, stretched over 20 feet long, and weighed up to 1,500 pounds. That's the size of a polar bear. It was pure muscle, built for power. And the most terrifying part? Its weapon. While a velociraptor's claw was about three inches long, the Utah raptor sported a massive nine-inch killing claw on each foot. Think about that for a second. A nine-inch, razor-sharp sickle. Combine that with its immense size and strength, and you have a predator that was essentially a grizzly bear with a switchblade for a toe. It was strong enough to take down prey many times its own size. This was the creature the movies were actually describing, whether they knew it or not. The Utah Raptor was the real deal, hyper-carnivorous killing machine. <laughs> so let's play a little game. Now that you know the truth, which scenario would you rather face? Would you rather fight 10 real turkey-sized feathered velociraptors or one, just one, 1,500-pound Utah Raptor? Let me know your choice and your reasoning down in the comments below. I'm genuinely curious to see what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this deep dive into prehistoric reality, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more myth-busting content. We'll see you in the next one.